Don't worry about your house. Robin and I are taking care of it. We're watering your plants. Except the one that looks like it has green hair is dying. <laughs> Yay, I hate that plant. <laughs> We're bringing in your mail, and I even took out your trash. Actually, no, I had Robin take out your trash, but I canceled your papers. <laughs> yeah, you're doing more than when you lived with me. It's because I love you, and I want you to get better and go home to a nice, clean house. Thank you, Maxie. You and Robin have been terrific. You know, when I get out of here, I'm going to cook both of you a world-class dinner. I'll be there. I might even do the dishes. You're not doing too much, though. I mean, Kate's a tough boss. I don't want you to get in trouble at work. I'll handle Kate. I love my job, but I love you more. And we came way too close to losing you. Well, you didn't. I plan on annoying you and Robin for years to come. We wouldn't want it any other way. Sorry to interrupt, but I need to run a checkup. Oh, he's only worse. Have fun inspecting your work. Yeah, so, um, last night we... Are you taking advantage of my daughter's gratitude and putting the moves on her? Well, here we are, alone at last, in a room with a bed. And you're gonna hook me back up to machines. You are my patient, not my date. I'm so much more fun as the latter. I know what you're trying to do. You overheard me and Dr. Weber, and so now you're trying to cheer me up. Is it working? I appreciate the effort, but... I seriously don't know why you're being so nice to me. Oh, well, you're kind of cute. I mean, my, you've been beating yourself up about this ever since it happened. I mean, give it a rest, you know? It's over, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, no thanks to me. So, okay, you slipped up once. Twice. I told you before I, I, I froze up when my boyfriend died in front of me. Yeah, that's why doctors generally aren't supposed to work on people they know, people they care about, you know, because doctors have emotions that get in the way sometimes. I'm sure if a stranger crashed in with a medical emergency, you'd be on the top of your game. I'm a ward. My family is all about excellence. We are community leaders, not charity cases. If I'm not great, I might as well just get out of medicine altogether. You are just going after Johnny to piss Sonny off because you know how much they hate each other. Of course, what you're doing could get John killed, but you don't give a damn about that because it's all about Carly and what you want, as usual. You may want to dial it down a bit. I'm your employer. Okay. With all due respect, employer, leave Johnny alone. You know what? Because you do such a good job, I'm not going to fire you for mouthing off. My life is private. You don't get to comment on it. Carly. You and I used to be close, okay? Things have changed because of circumstances beyond our control, but I am asking you now, out of respect for our former friendship, please leave John out of this. What happens between me and Johnny is our business. No one else's. You really are a piece of work. I'm just putting my cards on the table. It's good to know what I'm dealing with. I am fresh out of arguments. All my superiors are seeing is a felon out of prison, and I'm throwing him to a serial killer. Not exactly solid legal procedure. Well, then blame it on me. Remind your bosses that I'm personally overseeing Jason. Oh, believe me, I've made that point very clear to the powers that be. If anyone's going to get thrown to the wolves, it's you. Good, good to know. Look, all I'm saying is give us something on Franco, or Jason is behind bars within the hour. Claire, Claire, wait, we need Jason free. He knows how Franco thinks. He's the bait. Well, you used him as bait before, and Franco was still loose. But he's the best chance we have to catch this guy. You take Jason off the grid, I, I, who knows how many people Franco will kill? And what about the baby? Claire, All right. 5 p.m. That was the deal. That's all I'm asking. I can't make any promises, all right? I have my career to protect, too. Her career is more important than a baby. That woman is cold. You need Jason to catch Franco. Yes, we better make the best of the time that we have. Wish me luck. Consent, right of inhare, 
Well, I think we can assume that word is inheritance. So yes, there is no doubt in my mind. This document that Franco's been attempting to hide from you, this is an adoption contract. Well, the Brussels lady does indeed have a keen eye for legal jargon. If Franco is setting up an adoption, that means the baby could be alive and well. Right, that also means Franco's planning on keeping the baby. Well, I think it's safe to say he won't be leaving any clues as to his whereabouts. Yes, on the contrary, he'll do everything in his power to remain uh, hidden. You know what, I'm gonna go to the hospital to see if I can find any records, DNA, blood types, anything. Is that be helpful in identification if Aiden is found? No when Aiden is found. Do, do you think us finding this clue might give Stone Cold a reprieve? Unfortunately, I doubt anything will delay your imminent return to prison.